whoever in charge was like, you know what? We need uh, some plastic bugs next to some carrots and uh, a glass rose. That sounds like a good combo. Like, <laughs> I don't understand. It makes like zero sense. They just threw stuff in and I don't know. So I'm gonna buy some stuff just because it's weird and unique and it's hard to film while I buy it. So I'll show you what I buy after. All right guys, welcome back to another claw machine Tokyo edition. Um, I'm actually in Akihabara. Um, it's my second time here, and this is my second time trying for arcade claw machines. And that is my goal today. Um, there's a place behind me. The real name is called The Playground, but on the sign it says Game. Literally just says Game, but on Google Maps it's called The Playground. Um, so there's lots of claw machines in there. Hopefully we can win some on camera for you guys. Um, but that's not all we're gonna do for this video. I heard there's a secret alleyway here in the Akihabara district that has this weird, crazy, random stuff in them. And apparently the signs inside the alleyway are very weird and random as well. So I'm, try, I'm gonna try to find that as well for you guys. Let's have a good fun day. Um, because this morning has been just hectic. Uh, let's just say parking around big cities like this uh, with a car is really, really frustrating and scary. Hopefully we win some fun stuff and check out some cool stuff. So follow me. Lots of these figurines that you can win. Of course, they're all anime, but it is a very huge anime district here. So, there's different styles of these uh, claw machines. Some, the, the figurines are on a platform. And those ones are a lot easier than the ones here where they're like in between these two bars. So, I don't know, we'll give it a shot. All right, this one was already kind of sandwiched down. I don't know how to get it out of there. I don't know, these ones are a lot harder than the ones where they're on like a platform. Cause like they're kind of like stuck in there this is how they would start. So, I don't know guys, we'll see. Guys, I pushed it down with one of the claws. I think that's the way to do it. Guys, I think I'd see one more push, I think. One more push. Come on, come on. Oh. All right, <laughs> one more, guys. One more. All right, the, the problem is, guys, you have a good stuck in that narrow thing, so you have to kind of keep hitting the edges so it starts to get down. It's hard. Guys, of course I didn't get it on camera because I was playing it for a little while and didn't want to continuously just film for no reason. But this is, that is the one that I won. It took me like, I think like 25 spins, or not spins, but 25, uh, tries or something. Basically, once I got uh, it down far enough, it was like kind of like stuck. Um, it didn't seem like it wanted to go down on either side. So I kind of went over on the far left and I actually kind of missed the box, but the arm of the claw kind of went like this. 
and it like jarred it out. So sometimes a mistake actually worked out. Nice. But it's like they kind of go in, they kind of just go and like pick the bunch at once. So like each, each machine will have one certain one for a while until they run out. Then they'll switch. So it's hard to tell which ones they may have. Guys, I don't think I've ever seen a Donald Trump anything related memorabilia, but here in Japan, they have Donald Trump candy bar. That is, that is interesting. Alright guys, arcade number two, um, we'll see, I don't know if I'll play anything in this one, but I thought I'd check it out. I may do that. I haven't done it yet, but I may. Alright guys, I'm trying for this uh, other figure here. This one's a different setup. you got to get, hook it and then get it off the bar there. It's hard, but I think I can get it. Guys, it's like hanging on by like a thread somehow. Come on. Oh. I don't even know how that's staying on right now. Uh, as you can tell, it's, it's somehow barely hanging on. Come on, do it. Yes, woohoo! Got it. It's all about finesse, guys. You just gotta get your angles right. Yes, that's the second one today. There's so many random things in here, guys. There's a like a plastic bug, there's random drinks, there's chips, there's a can of some sort of drink, I mean a toy car. Guys, I found the elusive vending machine alley. Um, let's just say, I don't know what to expect. I just kind of stumbled upon it finally after searching for a little bit. Um, it's weird because some of the vending machines are like tucked away and, and it's just really weird. So let me just show you guys and I'll try to get some stuff because it looks really weird and I want to buy something. All right, so that's the one with the chips, the plastic bug, the cars, and all that. Um, they even got some drinks again, and then randomly got 
more plastic box. And I think that's a oh it's like a train. You can get a like a like a train car kind of thing, like a toy. Next we have popcorn, which doesn't sound half bad actually. Um, then you turn a corner and it's like this weird little alley. Um, got a whole bunch of drinks and other random stuff. Got like plastic balls. Looks like a baseball. But you can tell people have just used this as their trash can. This is not normal for Japan. Japan is super clean. I actually haven't seen any garbage really until just now. So this is kind of an anomaly. But guys, look. Next we have milk tea. Some basically like those bells, I think, inside like a capsule. And some sort of cookie or something. Like it's so random, guys. I don't understand. Next we have, can't really see it, but it's like a tube, of, I think it's of chocolate or gum. Sorry, it's hard to see in here. Then we have like carrots, I think? Like this makes no sense. And then we have like a random like flower ornament. Whoever in charge was like, you know what? We need uh, some plastic bugs next to some carrots and uh, a glass rose. That sounds like a good combo. Like, <laughs> I don't understand. It makes like zero sense. They just threw stuff in and I don't know. So I'm gonna buy some stuff just because it's weird and unique. Uh, but there's, there's tons of these vending machines here in the corner. This one is like just mystery boxes. It says stuff in Japanese on the front. As you can see. But of course, I can't read Japanese, so it is legit a mystery box. So I'll probably get one of those and through this weird alley that you can barely fit through. Uh, more like stuff in cans, more mystery boxes. Yeah, and then some more random stuff. Got like a basketball. <laughs> oh, this is so weird. Oh, here's the weird sign, guys. Of course, if I knew Japanese, I would know what it says. But I read an online article and talked about it. So, I don't know what the heck this is. Um, I just bumped into, bumped into some random guys here. We're just checking out just this weird alleyway with all these weird boxes and stuff. So, I got something for 490 yen, which is like $4 maybe, $5. So, it's either $5 worth of nothing or who knows. So, let's open this up, figure out what the heck it is. It is cold though. So, that could be... Who knows? <laughs> um, how do I open this? Right. It's like Christmas morning, you're trying to open your presents and you're like, I get in the box. Alright. Oh. Okay, looks like we got chocolate. Chocolate, like, looks like, yeah, like chocolate sticks or something. It's not the guys. With a little kid baseball player. <laughs> All right, I don't know though if that's probably not worth five dollars, but gotta gotta at least try it. It looks like a little chocolate. Yeah, right. Yeah. Probably less creepy than what was. Yeah, right. yeah. All right. Well, hey, <laughs> I'll give it a shot. Maybe uh, when I get back to the hotel, I'll try it out later. Um, like chocolate. All right. So we just found out this sign says this is not a toilet. Security cameras in use because people use the bathroom in this alleyway. 
which is insane. But people apparently piss in the Interest, alleys. Interesting smell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so you gotta be careful when you walk in these alleys because even though the signs don't use it as a bathroom, people still do. guys um, so it's it's actually uh, a couple days later and I totally forgot to show you guys kind of some of the stuff that I got um, like I said I won two uh, figures from the claw machines and then I bought a DVD and I bought a CD um, so I won two two figurines um, and then I bought some other stuff all right so of course super super anime um, that's what this whole Akihabara district is all about. So most of the claw machines are either some sort of uh, anime figure like these girls or uh, you know some sort of other Japanese kind of figures. Um, so yeah these are the two that I won. Um, I think the more you play claw machines the more you get used to playing them so I got a little bit better after I won the first one. And then it, it didn't take as long to win the second. I didn't show you me tasting the, remember the mystery vending machine where I won the chocolates? I didn't show me eating them or trying them. So let me give it a shot here. So I'm pretty sure it's just going to be like basic chocolate sticks or something. Oh, maybe they're like little cookies. Hold on. Let's try it out. Oh. They're like little chocolate bats. Oh, this is amazing. Hold on. They're like, they're like little chocolate bats. Now, I don't know how long these have been in that vending machine because who knows how often people go in there and buy those mystery boxes. Um, yeah, I don't know. It It's almost like a Twix, but without the caramel. Um, I'm trying to figure out how else to describe it. It's really good, considering it's a random thing in the vending machine. <laughs> I almost forgot. I got some other stuff in the vending machines down in the, that little weird corner. And so besides the weird uh, mystery box with the chocolate sort of donut stick things, um, I got Japan's very famous milk tea, which I've never tried yet actually. It's kind of ironic because this is like my last day here. Um, but like those who don't, those who don't know, um, I... I have some stomach issues and I've had them for about two or three years and I, I can't do um, gluten or dairy, um, like minimal gluten and dairy um, in, like, in, in like a daily sitting. Um, if I have too much gluten or dairy, I, I, I just, I feel terrible and I'll be in the bathroom for a while. So. That's why I never really tried any of these like teas or milks, just because I can't really do milk um, and can't eat too much dairy stuff. So that's why I haven't been trying all these different things too often because I just don't want to feel terrible. Um, but I wanted to try at least for a video, give it a shot here. And then I got 
nectar, like peach tea or something. Or not, maybe not tea, but peach drink. Um, so yeah, I got these in the vending machine. I got these in the vending machine also with the Mr. Cookie. Um, so I wanted to try them on video for you. I don't know. Milk tea is very popular here in Japan. I'm not a huge fan of tea in general. A um, couple a couple types I like, but I don't know about this. So we'll give it a shot. Milk tea from a weird vending machine corner in Akihabara District. Here we go. Actually, actually, that's pretty good. I was I was a little bit like not sure about it. But it has some sweetness that man makes it really good. All right, I give that I give that I give that a thumbs up. Uh, it's way better than I thought. Um, and so now it's the peach. All right, peach nectar. Let's give it a shot. Man, it just tastes like you're drinking like peach juice. That's really good. I would say those are both wins, considering it's a weird vending machine corner, and you know you you never know what to expect in those kind of weird vending machines. So, I would say all three products, cookies, both drinks, thumbs up for sure. Um, all right, guys, I'm gonna head out. Don't forget to live, explore, and travel. I'm Harmer Vlogs, and I'll see you guys on the next adventure.